Al Kelly is in, the, is in fresh trouble in addition to all the drama surrounding him as he faces a bribery charge over his marriage to late singer Aliyah. Al Kelly has been charged with bribing a government official in order to get a fraudulent identific identification document to marry an underage girl in 1994. And that underage girl is our very own Aliyah. So, <laughs> I don't know. R.I.P. Aliyah first. R.I.P. Aliyah, definitely. And they should let her rest in peace. They need to stop bringing her into R. Kelly's mess. It's not they about Aliyah right now. No, I mean, for me, it's about her. It's about him bribing a government official to obtain a document to say, you know what, the pers this person is of age. Mm. Aliyah's you know? story has always been there. It's why? why it's, it's no new news. Why didn't anybody bring it up then? Why didn't anybody bring it up since? Yeah, but we why all knew that now? he got married to an underage girl, mm. but we didn't know that he bribed the government official, which is a crime. Mm. Do you understand? Bribery is a crime. When you bribe a government oh, official... But they're just knowing you... now that he bribed a yeah, government Yeah, I think that, that just surfaced. And then... Oh, I think I will go with you then that somebody's behind this oh, thing. Yeah, because yeah. every day okay, there's no, always Benny, a Benny, story. Benny wants to give us um, <laughs> Yeah, a you know, I'm a conspiracy theorist. And I think there's more to everything we're surfacing um, about our Kelly right now. It's beginning to look like, you know, somebody's just there trying to winch on for some reasons we're not privy to. Mm. The Aliyah R. Kelly story is, has been like a yawn, so it's no news. And R. Kelly has also denied it that he, he wasn't aware that she was underage when they got mm. together. And so, was it the government official who gave him the document that came to report? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they have a valid case. But if, it's, if this is just another fabrication, and then just to make sure you get a black man behind bars, which is stereotypical, Mm. Black male get misrepresented, get misunderstood mm. because you got to service the prison departments. They have to make money. The prison, prison, prison system in America is big money. Mm. And the more people you put behind bars, the more money because you got to maintain the prisons. People got to make money. You know, I have, I have my reservations on a whole lot of grounds about what's going on with R. Kelly. Don't get me wrong. If no woman deserves to go through all the things the woman who've come out of the city went through mm. under him, it really mm. did happen. Mm. It's, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be condoned. You know, now bring it up there. They are layers. story again. A government official said I carry bribe to, to, to obtain a document to say the, the, the minor was of age so they can get hitched. It doesn't add up to me. Okay, no, I don't. I, you know, everybody's looking at it from Al Kelly bribing a government official. Mm -hmm. Now, what is going to happen to that government official? Because that's it. He if also, you receive he, that's bribe, it. You should are go you on. going to yeah. um, face the consequences for your actions? Because but the, you receive bribe. Saying. Yeah, the government official. That's why I'm saying should, that. Yeah, yeah. Past, no, nobody's if, talking if about the government that. Government official that came out to confess that, okay, I took a bribe from yeah. R. Kelly. Even with the confession, the so, fact that you're a government official, you're supposed to represent the people, giving, and then accepting you know, to bribe. over there, they make this deal with people and tell them, to, okay, do this, and then we'll just let you go, just say this, and you know, they make deals with them. Yeah, they, they make deals, deal. but it won't work. It shouldn't work scot-free. That's the way I see it. Well, and then R. Kelly's case, I think it's just a case of um, you can't, you can't win all, do you understand? Like, they don't have substantial evidence over some cases. So they're just trying to look for every loophole, everything to just pin him down and make sure that he serves time. Mm. Sufficient you evidence. Sufficient evidence. Yeah. And then if this is what you want to do right now about R. Kelly, then I think um, just go straight to the point and be like, okay, R. Kelly has to serve some time because you've done this, you've done that. And like so you said, honest, it's so stereoty um, stereotypical typical. for... Um, a black man to mm. be convicted, you know, just look at him and be like, oh, you did this, you did that, and everybody comes to conclusion that a black man did this. Yeah. So, if you're trying to ruin his career, I think it's all obvious right now. It's all in the open. Yeah. We all know that we, you guys want this guy to go down regardless. So, even if he wins this one, something else will come up in the next couple of weeks. And it's looking like um, it's not even about justice for the girls now. It's justice for themselves. They just want to bring somebody okay, that to okay, go Yeah, down. and and that's just so wrong. If, they are, if whosoever is behind this is just doing this because she wants R. Kelly down, not justice for the girls. I mean, it's you know, wrong. it's quite unfortunate, right? When, when the American government system wants you down, they want you down. Definitely. Mm. They, will, they will dig up dirt from everywhere on you. You must go down. You can't fight the system. All right. Well said. When they want you down, you <laughs> must go down.